Tom at Snake River Base, back again to talk about airspeed and ground speed. Remember, we were talking about indicators of airspeed and ground speed, and we're using a helium balloon to represent airspeed, and a guy standing on the ground below us to represent ground speed. In the top case here, I want to talk about you just standing on the exit point. These are very simple. In zero wind, how fast do we move towards or away from that balloon? Well, you're not moving, the balloon's not moving, there's no wind, your airspeed is obviously zero. In zero wind, how fast do we move towards our friend on the ground? Well, again, you're not moving, he's not moving, there's no wind, your ground speed is also zero. This is the simplest possible case. Now, we're still on the exit point. This may throw you if you're a pilot thinking about ground speed and airspeed. We're still on the exit point and the wind comes out. We have a 15 mile an hour tailwind blowing off the exit, right? So if I look at my friend on the ground, what's my ground speed? Well, he's not moving, I'm not moving, my ground speed is still zero. But if I look at the balloon in front of me, what's my airspeed now? The balloon is moving away from me at 15 miles an hour because it's in the wind. It's traveling with the wind. That means my airspeed is 15 miles per hour. Somebody in the back row there is waving their hand around saying, no, no, it's 15, negative 15 miles per hour. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. We're just gonna say it's 15 because that's how fast you and the balloon are moving apart. I'm not going to worry about the direction of this airspeed. Airspeed's 15, ground speed's zero. If you have a question about this, please post in the comments of this video or email me, tom at snakeriverbase.com, and I'll try and answer your questions and maybe do a follow-up video if there are any questions.